this is never going to end. You are going to be sitting here all night <laughs> or all morning. I don't know where you live. <laughs> We're here in Los Angeles. It's nighttime. E3 2015 is done. It's it's history. But we're continuing on with another set of guests. Joining me at this hour, I have the great privilege of introducing Lord Lanning. Lord oh, Lanning. Thank you for here. having Hello. us, Jeff. Hi. How Hi. are things going? Well, you know, it's been an interesting E3. Outstanding. Yeah. Jeff Green from Hit hey. Detection is here. Hi. Hi, Jeff. Hello. How are you, Jeff? I'm doing well, Jeff. I am too, Jeff. This is going great, Jeff. <laughs> this is going great, Jeff. Love you, Jeff. Oh, Jeff, this is the best. Can we go somewhere together, Jeff? <laughs> Jeff, I think we can, Jeff. All right. Let's... Yeah, let's switch seats. You guys can get closer. <laughs> <you gotta. laughs> and uh, Giant Bomb's tween correspondent, yep. uh, PlayStation's <laughs> own John Drake is hey, here. Hey, kids. How you doing? I was camera at both of you. You're great. I love you. Yeah. No, was, uh, he has to tell us what the kids are into. <laughs> the kids are all about that sweet, sweet... Uh, GameCube games. They're all about the GameCube games. They're throwing it back. They're retro. Oh, yeah. No. And Pogs. Kids love Pogs. Pogs, GameCube. Always Pogs. It's all super old school. Yeah. Absolutely. Retro. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I'm here. Lauren, <laughs> how's the show been going? Uh, how did how'd the show go for you this year? Are you kind of yeah. taking meetings, just hanging out? Like, what, what are you I, up to You know, these, these guys are running me around. Every 30 minutes is a meeting. Every 30 minutes is, uh, you know, some YouTuber who, by the graciousness of their sympathy, is willing to give us some sort of coverage and exposure. So I'm totally exhausted. <laughs> Absolutely exhausted. <laughs> you sound happy about it, though. Yeah. No, it's, <laughs> you're a good spirit. It's like, yeah, I can't like, I'd be like, fuck this show. show. It's over. It was Thank a good God. Show. It was a good show. It was a good show. It cool. was, it was, you know what? One of the most interesting E3s yet. I think so, too. I think so. Agreed. Yeah. It's, uh, Jeff, you're out there. <laughs> detecting hits. Detecting, detecting hits. hits for hit detection. <laughs> I detected many hits. <laughs> Great. I did. They what, were in what's your what ears, sh shoulder, face. Yeah, all. is there like a twinge <laughs> in your shoulder or what? It's, it's actually in my spine. Okay, yeah, all right. 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 So you've been detecting uh, pretty heavy hits lately. We could show the uh, cane, and you could see like that. That's how many hits I detected. Wow, that's and now I'm carrying a cane. <laughs> Just trying to just trying to fit in on the couch, guys. <laughs> now so, you're like the, with the rest of the hands. Hands. Yeah. <laughs> I actually thought it was that was an amazing E3. Yeah. This is how many for you now? All of them. All of them. Yeah. Not all of them. Nineteen for me. Yeah. And maybe one of the best. I think. I, I I think it's 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 one of the things like you it's for me it's it's the part where like VR felt real uh, yeah. And, yeah and you know like the the goggle stuff started to come together in a way that made a lot of sense uh, I mean I you guys might remember the last time they tried this stuff I, that was that was right around the time that I was getting started I had dark mm -hmm. hair. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's it a while ago. <laughs> they, they had polygonal <laughs> tanks and all this other stuff. And we got those again, by the way. <laughs> yeah, no, I love really Battle Zone. It's, yeah, yeah. 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 no, it's uh, and like VR then seemed like a pipe dream, and and at the time it was like this is really cool, but I don't I don't know why. Like I'm not going to go to an arcade. This like they were trying to sell it as like location based entertainment, like yeah. battle tech right, and right, stuff. right, battle tech. Yeah, they thought people were going to pay uh, ten bucks to stand in line for half an hour to have a three minute experience in a low uh, fifteen frame per, spec mm -hmm. per second fifteen polygon. Right, world. it was like the new roller yeah. coaster or something. Yeah, and it wasn't flying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, s I still don't know for real. You know, like if we're actually there yet. I mean, it, it demos better than it ever did. Yeah. But are, is it actually ready for us to buy one of those things and have it at home and actually use it more than three times before we stop using it like our Wii? It's virtually ready. It's almost there. It's mm -hmm. almost ready. Mm -hmm. yeah, did you, you guys play, bit? by the way, did you, did you see the uh, porn, the vaguely pornish <laughs> demo at the, at the Sony? Is that uh, Summer? Uh, so, yeah, where you... I wouldn't know. <laughs> we don't have any vaguely pornish demos. Yeah, uh -huh. more specific. Where she asked if you want to play her guitar or... Oh, I want to play that. Like see through. <laughs> I, I, I didn't. I did not re get... recollection. Did yeah. you black out during this demo? Wake up and go. Oh, oh, that's a hit. I got Morpheus. That's a hit. I got <laughs> dreams. I want, actually, the one I got was cool. I got the uh, London heist one. Oh, yeah, that's a good yeah. one. That was cool. Hot. That's the hot London studios. <laughs> except, goodness. except that you had to use move controllers, which is sort of. You could feel the gun in your hand and reload. Why are you such a downer about everything? Yeah, there was gun. I'm not giving you this cane back here and keep you such a downer about everything. <laughs> also, we did a whole day on VR, Jeff. I don't know. Oh, God. You put me up here with Paul Malucky. No, I had to defend myself about Kickstarter. No, the London Heist thing was, was very cool. That was cool. Oh, thanks, Jeff. I'm and, glad I dragged uh, you know that out of you. What cool was uh, Trackmania was very cool. Yeah. Oh, did, were they showing that in VR? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's your favorite game. What? You, oh. you, not you should go play no, Jack Bane VR. I have it in my, I have it in my, uh, I, my kit. Yes, I, I desperately want to see the the VR. So I, I went over to the Ubisoft booth and played it. You know, kind of just standard. 
uh, and was like, yes, this is the, the fidelity is improved and it is insane. So that's what I'm looking for as long as I can set up a server that plays custom music and has custom tracks so that I can create my own personal driving nightmare, uh, which is what <laughs> I want out of those games. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't mean to be cynical about it. In yeah, general. well, don't you? <laughs> All don't right, you? I do. I'm totally cynical about it. No one's going to buy that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> No, I Detecting don't, no. hits. Detecting hits <laughs> by Jeff Green. So, <laughs> no, but here's the thing. It's like, a, yikes. Uh, because we've been through this before. We've been right. through Connect. We've been through this with motion, motion control. Like, how many E3s ago where that's all you could hear about was motion control? And let's talk about how, yeah, the, and that Wii just did not sell anything. No well, one bought a Wii. Uh, it was awful. Right, okay. And I didn't make a living <laughs> making Dance Central games for like three years, Jeff. <laughs> Detect some hits, goddammit. <laughs> or step off. I don't. He kind of got me. I guess so. Yeah, I don't know. I'll shut up. You put me but, on the uh, air, and I don't. I don't know why I'm here. But Jeff is saying nasty things, so I'm coming at him with his cane in my hand. You said you wanted to punch Greg Miller in the face. I did, so and Greg Miller, the coward that he is, ran off. He did. Set. He okay. did run away. Like a baby. But more so than the Wii or the motion control, the the problem that I see with VR is mm -hmm. so first of all, you've got these cumbersome things you have to buy. So as the tech gets getting better, lighter, getting right, lighter, as every they day. get lighter, that's going to matter. Yeah, man. And then also the ability for people to wear them for long periods of time. That's totally a fair point. Because it's a constant thing right now that you hear is people like getting nauseous after this. The, the consumer version of the, of the Oculus Rift stuff <laughs> was pretty impressive. Like like yeah. in terms of it being like lightweight, like I, I put that on today uh -huh. for the first time and I was like, oh, oh, huh. okay, yeah, all right. right. This, I could wear this, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. And you know, in a way that some of the other stuff doesn't feel quite like right. that, yeah. And I think HoloLens, too, where you can actually see the actual world, mm -hmm. I think that makes a difference, too. It's, it's really not neat. total sensory, yeah. sensory deprivation. I so hope how that, long is your average porn session? Me? <laughs> yeah. Um, 35 seconds. There uh, you go. <laughs> yeah. Porn how much is the way car bother you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get, 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 well, now that I'm getting hard older, it's more like two maybe, minutes. Yeah, hard, yeah. Well, let's, <laughs> not, let's not go for the triple up number. Yeah. <laughs> two at a time. <laughs> That's what she said. So uh, you know, I mean, you, you've been you've been developing games for for quite some time. Does, does the sort of technology? It shows. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> I've I've been playing that stuff since then. Uh, what do you think about VR kind of coming coming back and and feeling to me it feels more real than it ever has. First of all, before VR came on and tried to sell itself at what it was back in the eighties, or you know, yeah. I was already in simulation in the aerospace, mm -hmm. playing networked SGIs with with flight simulators, like all the Magic Edge guys. stuff, the, the real stuff, yeah, right. And we were we were already there, and that was before Sky Fox came out, you know, right. So when they started showing VR back in the day, it was like Trip Hawkins announcing 3DO and saying it was going to be a great 3D system. If you knew how this shit worked, you weren't going to be buying it. You yeah, know, yeah. it wasn't. It didn't fly. If you didn't know how it worked, you might have thought you had a good box. I was like, yeah, <laughs> right. Like, oh, what a what a magic yeah. time I'm having with this but grainy full motion video. Yeah, Thanks, the big trip. difference is today you put it on, it's a whole different deal, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So today we put it on, and we go, wow, I'm not here. Right. Yeah. I'm not here. Stand on the edge of a cliff. Shit. I got a fear of heights. It's not good right now. Yeah. Right. All these other aspects. It's here to stay. The question is, how long is it going to take to get an install base? How right. long is it going to take yep. to solidify? How right. much is, is, you know, VR and AR, which is the Betamax and which is the VHS, right? How's, this, how's it going to shake out? Right. But if you want to be completely submersed in worlds, there's going to be no better way than VR. Mm -hmm. And then we got issues, and eventually it's going to be this. Right. right? It's not mm -hmm. going to be a, uh, a seven ounce headset or a 12 ounce headset. It's going to be this nanotechnology, mm -hmm. quantum computing, whether it's this or it's in my contact lens, there's no yeah. one's even going to know, and I can yeah. have the right. 37 I mean, if, second experience. <laughs> if, if, you, if, you ask the, if you ask the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 campaign, they're just going to wire the neural interface directly into our eyes as of 2065. Yeah, so. and I'll trust that. Yeah. yeah. No, that's yeah, the, go, they go got ahead. their button on their, their <laughs> finger on the pulse of like what's actually going to happen. It's, yeah. it's Call of Duty. They, they, got, they got the money for that. Well, yeah. they've done that. You know, there's prisoners you can go look on the vo volunteered volunteered to uh, have those experiments done on them, and you can see how it wound up. You know, and choose if you want that implant. Personally, I'd choose a different direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kind no, of black well, and blue. Well, hey, I, you know, like I, I'll buy a first gen VR headset. <laughs> I'm not going to get a first-gen neural, <laughs> neural implant. implant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't worry, the upgrade yeah. comes soon. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, don't worry, we'll rip, open your head again and put the new shit in. Like, No, no. Yeah. yeah, so it's here, you know, it's not going away. The question is how fast it take to get traction. Uh, how many car accidents are going to be a result from people being completely disoriented? I mean, we got all kinds of issues coming, right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, But the fact of the matter is, 
there's a reason. P many people ask me, like, well, why do you think Sony didn't have a bigger talk about VR at the show? It's because because it's being talked about on a flat screen, right? You sure, can't right. communicate it. And if you go, that's it, and people go, nah, I don't believe it. You right. know, or right. well, that's not that great. You get in there, it's a whole different thing. Yeah. And the, and the average public hasn't had a chance to experience that yet. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think the question is more: How long is it going to take? You know, who's going to win? Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, how's it ultimately going to shake out? And and what kind of byproducts <laughs> emerge, you know? Right, the, the new issues with all that stuff. John Drake, yeah. will next year's PlayStation press conference be presented for Morpheus owners in something that they can wear and just turn around and read the teleprompter the same way I do when I'm sitting in the audience? Just be like, oh, he, that joke fell real flat. Yeah, no, the, uh, <laughs> I think... He's way off script. Just just Adam's <laughs> jokes. The, uh, I think the... It's, it's good, you can watch my career, like, literally turf in front of you because my boss is sitting, like, eight feet that way just <laughs> off camera. Well, I'm sure Kessler wrote all the bad stuff anyway, right? <laughs> yeah, he, we punch, we try to punch him up, but he mm. he really throws him out there. Uh, I think you know, I think it's going to be that's the big differentiating content for Morpheus is that it'll be a uh, the PlayStation conference will be exclusively presented in Morpheus. No one else will be able to see it. So if you want to <laughs> know what's coming here first. You want the updates for Final Fantasy VII? You got to put on a Morpheus <laughs> or nothing. No, I you know I think we're I think we do. I don't want to say struggle, but I think it's it's nascent enough about how you show that stuff, and I think that is the big challenge: is communicating it in a way that feels mm -hmm. real to people, like doesn't feel like it is a stretched out flat image or feels like oh I kind of get it but I can't really imagine it there and but I think that the heightened emotions you get in VR is is, is really what we need to communicate cuz I, you know, I jump scares scare me all the time, right? Like I, I could see a horror game, and even on a two D screen. <laughs> ah! Ha! Ah! Ha! Ah! Ah! He fell asleep back there hours ago. Said ah! something about he hadn't eaten all day or something. And ah! My mic is gone. I fell asleep behind the couch. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's why <laughs> virtual reality is so immersive because it's a 360 <laughs> degree pants shitting experience. <laughs> um, ow. Also, but the uh, the thing I was going <laughs> to that point. Well, that's net on diapers. Yeah. <laughs> now that's your change. Jesus. That, it, <laughs> the uh, thing I was going to say is <laughs> I, I felt scared on a 2D screen. Uh, but we were playing the London Heist and, and mm -hmm. there's, the guy blows smoke and you kind of gets in your face. And I've never <laughs> felt like intimidated before on a 2D screen. Because it's a 2D screen, there's a barrier there, and he gets up in your face and you like start to back up a little bit like he's mm -hmm. invading your personal space. And that's a new sensation. I've never felt like nervous before in a game. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, it was a uh, there's stuff we can do there that's hard to convey on a giant wraparound screen mm -hmm. yeah. with Andy House just like mm -hmm. talking. Like it, it works to a degree, but uh, it'd be better if you could see it yourself. And so yeah. that's I, the big I, jump. Yeah, I think Microsoft did a pretty great job of it with HoloLens. You know, I they think sold they, the dream they, of it. They yeah. conveyed you know, in a 2D space for those watching on TV, how to do it. I'm not saying... He played it. I did, yeah. It, 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 was that the experience you had? Uh, I mean, so in terms I'm, of just I like want AR to be awesome. How you interact with it and all that stuff, yes. But yes. It, it, for me, it was, yeah, it, it is that the, the HoloLens view port, again, is, is like that in front of your yeah. face. And so if you're looking out here, you're not seeing, you're not getting mm -hmm. any of yeah. that. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the thing that, you know, so in taking that from a prototype to a shipping product, right. Right. They, that's the thing. They but it's right. earlier. It's like that. If they, I were to detect a hit, I would time. say that is a hit. Mm -hmm. A hit. In the making, but yes. right now, mm. 1.5, 2.0, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. When, they, when they get It's the a tween of the emergent technologies versus mm. the... Tween detector. The 21 year old, yeah, tw tween, tween detector. detector. Yeah. I, don't know, I don't know, I wouldn't And I'm in jail. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There we go. Well, that was a good run while we had it. <laughs> there you are. The John Drake tween tracker. <laughs> Teasdale's yeah. working on it Dan right Teasdale now. Dan Teasdale, spin up that spin yeah. up. Yeah. Get it going. Machine, yeah. Get a Kickstarter launched. God damn it. I, I do think the emotional. The, the emotional thing that you do get, though, is real. I mean, I did think during London Heist, that like it actually, I did feel like I was in that car. I, the, the demo actually starts off pretty great with you picking up the soda cup. Oh yeah, you were in the you know, getaway, yeah. the getaway part. The of getaway it. part, yeah. yeah. And uh, but then when the uh, when the enemies start coming at you and you have to shoot, you, not only do you have to you have to shoot with your right hand, but then take the clips and redo the clips. And yeah. I really felt, you know, you actually get into it way more than if it was just something I was playing with my controller. Sure, totally. Hit yeah. X to reload, right? It's like yeah. it's much yeah. more nerve wracking. But you know, everything from games like that to like you know quirky little puzzle games like Wayward, Wayward Sky that the guys at Uber are making, or even over on Oculus, like the lucky the charm of like the little Lucky's Tail character. It feels mm -hmm. like kind of the warm mm -hmm. Mario charm of that. Like there's right. a lot of a lot of possibility, and I think that mm -hmm. we're starting to see it. But and I you know I wasn't trying to call out Holland's. No, yeah. I actually think that AR is just like, you know, it, it was announced a few months ago and it's just coming into its own. This is the first mm -hmm. time they've shown it. Yeah. I think it'll get better and better and I think VR is, you know, nine months to 12 months from being a product that's on shelves and I think that it has to be a little further along so hopefully we can keep selling that to people as the year goes on and make them believe. Yeah. We'll see. Do you think uh, you we'll ever else? see the odd world through a VR? <laughs> um, 
you know, we're dabbling, but here's, a, here's my honest opinion on how to approach the VR as a designer. Okay. Don't try to force fit other IPs into this new science. Yes, please. Treat mm. this new science as something that you want to understand from its, its you know, soup DNA upward, and then grow new crops out from those limitations, because mm -hmm. here's what's going to happen. There's going to be a lot of designers that blame the technology for why their audience has a seven-hour headache, yeah. right? And they're yeah. like, because ah, the technology's not there yet. And it's like, yeah. no, because you suck as a designer. <laughs> Preach. That's Preach. why Church. everyone's getting sick, <laughs> because the technology is good enough now that if you were applying those sciences, and look, like, it's a big discovery process, right? Mm -hmm. And people, everyone's going through it. But if we understand it, it, this didn't happen overnight. This is not new. Astronauts have had this problem. Pilots have had this problem. Motion-based theaters and, right, and theme parks have had this problem. Yeah. 3D films have had degrees mm -hmm. of this problem. Simulators have had this problem. Mm -hmm. So this is not a new science. But the game industry, you know, you talk to guys and they're like, ah, I don't need to pay attention to that. Look at this cool shit I'm going to do. And you're like, that's great, man. And yeah. please YouTube the vomit for me, right? Because it's right. going to be projectiling all over yeah. the place. Yeah. Players spinning yeah. around in VR, yeah. the opposite way their head's going. <laughs> that's super great. So the truth Before is he rounded off, Rami said he was going to work on a vomit simulator. <laughs> for VR. So, I think you know, this, just, like, you know, just go that route with it. It's possibilities yeah. there, you know yeah, what I mean? Totally. It could fly. Yeah. Keeps jumping behind couches of yeah. people. I think people might barf all over the place. But what we're going to have is we're going to have a real good excuse that's not true that they're blaming technology for design faults and that's where I think reverse engineering IP into VR is mm -hmm. probably not the best way to start instead Agreed. understand VR and then emerge outwards mm -hmm. and we see that yeah. happening you know you talk about the heist uh, we look at the walking dead double we look at things yeah. that different people are doing and it actually work but it's all built on constraints you know mm -hmm. and they go yeah but me you know, my other uh, my other shooter doesn't really work so they don't have the technology right yet and it's like no Mm -hmm. You don't have your mind space right re or yet around the problem that we're facing. Right. That's, I could listen to this all day. This is my favorite thing that I've ever heard in the world. Thank you. Let's <laughs> hang out more often, man. Uh, Lord, I anytime, Lord, <laughs> I'm here for you. And when I yell on the phone, I will listen to you talk for hours. <laughs> Great, <laughs> awesome church. Yeah, that, that's that's definitely seemed like the the thing is you know like yeah. The, and you go back to like you know the the first Oculus getting out there and people are like oh you make Half Life Two playable with it's like yeah you can, you can. do a lot of things yeah but why yeah. would you do that that's <laughs> you right. can cut your wrist too right it's like yeah I can play multiplayer TF two and like <laughs> yeah. look one way and shoot yeah. the other and mm -hmm. then have, that's yeah. a nightmare. Yeah, I think it's analogous to 3D movies where mm -hmm. there were certain movies that it was awesome that they were in 3D. Mm -hmm. There were others that mm -hmm. they put it in there because that was a selling point. You could make $20 a ticket if you put it in 3D. Right, but right. there was no reason this movie needed to be in 3D yeah. at all. And in fact, Well, the reason it was because they really needed to sell more TV sets and they needed to get more people in the theaters. Yeah, right? sure. So if you yeah, talk to them, sure. the audience never said, we want 3D. Mm -hmm. It was an industry saying, hey, if we can sell in 3D, then we could sell another round of TV sets because they already bought right. the big, big screen HD and shit. What are we going to sell them now? Yeah. Right, but then right. you take something like <laughs> Avatar and that. Avatar was... <laughs> the Avatar was the movie version of what you're talking about with yes. games, yes. where they, where James Cameron showed you why this could be so cool. He built now, new tech for it, right, mm -hmm. from the ground up. But here's what's interesting, right? Is, oh, I, I watched the film two weeks ago at the old ILM mm -hmm. with the old ILM effects crew, and it's a full theater. And before the screening, they say, you know, we, we tried, we finally got the 3D here, and we just, we're glad we can show it to you that. It's Mad Max, yeah. right? Um. And Fury Road. And, every, and he says, but let, let me just ask, out of the audience, mm. out of you people that have done the best 3D movies to date and do it as a science and have doubled your workload to make a 3D film, how many of you care about 3D versus 2D? How many of you prefer to see the movie in 3D? There's about 150 people of the best experts, Academy Award winners in that audience and not one hand raised, yeah. right? right? Yeah. That's not the case with VR. So right. in 3D, we had industry trying to push a solution because it needs a new rev, it needs a new generation of buyers, it needs to be the fashion industry, mm -hmm. right? Convince you you need a no new wardrobe on mm -hmm. your wall next year. Yep. That's not what's happening with VR. What's happening with VR is people get in there and they go, oh my God. How do we turn it into businesses? Mm -hmm. Not like it's exactly we got a business yeah. that's fading. Right. How do we how do we milk what, it? What can we replace yeah. it with? So we've taken this crazy problem. risk. How do we justify yeah. it versus the other way around? Yeah. Of well, we have to make some more money, so I guess we can take this very minimal risk of selling 3D TVs to people, right? Yeah, right. Yes. yeah. different yeah. different era. Yeah, yeah. 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 But what I think is really cool. Here's one of the coolest things I think about the possibility. Games have been perpetually trying to get faster. Right. Mm -hmm. Ah, but the racing game now we got you know 60 frames per second and you know we got better frame rate updates and we got this and that. We got more chips and we can do more rendering. We can get shadows in real time. We can get lighting. Blah 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 blah. blah right. It's all about getting faster. Mm -hmm. What's the lesson in VR? Slow down. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. means. I mean, you asked about Audible. Sure, we're doing some tests. We're dabbling. What sure. am I dabbling with? Using motion code, using the AI in new ways so that the characters are all sitting there like this. 
right. and using it so I can go, can I get eye contact? Can I get witnessing? What happens mm -hmm. when I look here and he reacts and he reacts? Mm -hmm. A totally different way yeah. of thinking about how do we use this game technology. Mm -hmm. That's what's exciting to me. Well, work, I don't know. That's why we're dabbling. Yeah, you know, no, it's, it's you all, know, it's probably every, everyone's got to figure it out. Yeah. You know, at some point. But it's really yeah. interesting because we've slowed down. What's that allowing us to do? Focus more on character. Focus yeah. more on our relationships mm -hmm. to character. That's what's cool about the best demos we're seeing, right? Yeah. And there's the others where we feel like we're over the HO train set and it's kind of magical yeah. in its own way. Yeah. But that's really like, what does that mean for designers? We can focus more on AI. We can make you feel like you're in a conversation with drug dealers, bank robbers, yeah. dysfunctional family. Maybe we had enough of that that's already just, growing that's up. That's you know, but Thursday <laughs> night. <that's laughs> but we could do it. Now, it, and it's, uh, yeah, I, it's interesting. I, I, want, I wonder what will be like, uh, you know, 10 years down the line from this stuff. Like, you know, because everyone does, is talking about, you know, it needs to be slow because people get sick. It needs to be slow for these reasons. But, you know, once we have a few generations and people get used to this stuff, can they speed it back up? Will everyone get used to it? Will you have people that have grown up with VR and they're just like, well, no, no, just give it to me fast. Like, mm -hmm. I'm never going to get sick because mm -hmm. we're just wired this way now. Well, wired this way. How many millions of years of evolution did that take? Right? So for us, mm. collectively, I can kind of speak for us all, the, the idea of what we're experiencing in our sensory experience and us not being, that's connected to the real world. Mm. When it's not, it's called dreaming. Mm -hmm. right? and so throughout history, we've had the dreams. We've been where we're disconnected. We believe we're in a virtual reality that's not actually in our physical space. But when we're awake, millions of years of evolution said, you haven't been here yet. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We don't know what the byproduct of that is, and we don't know what the upward potential of that is. That's what's fascinating. Yeah. So when we say in three generations, will they, um, will they acclimate and not have this, this intolerance? Again? Right. Yeah. And, and it's like, you know, I knew guys that used to say, in future generations, we'll just be brains with sexual organs floating around because we won't need the bodies. You know? I'm still waiting know. on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Get know. me out of this husk. <laughs> <laughs> Shed it. Fast. Yeah. Hurry. Please. Help. <laughs> I can be freed yeah. as a brain and a penis. Yes, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Late night. Here are the child. All right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what happened to this? <laughs> speaking, <After jars. laughs> speaking of brains and penises, we're going to take a break. <laughs> Thanks to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lauren, Jeff, John Drake for coming by. I guess. Thanks, uh, we are going to get some brains and some penises probably up here for <laughs> what's going to be our final segment of the night. So stay tuned. We'll come back and wrap it up shortly. Stay tuned. <laughs>